hello 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 and welcome back to my channel welcome back to the Rack and scraps family channel as you guys can see we are at the beach today well not we me me my and i i myself monique i'm at the beach today i wanted to share with you guys my sea life photo album and what better place than at the beach kids are at home in school because grown sister is watching them today but every once in a while, I gotta just run away here and, and come to the wonderful beach because I need that break. So, hubby is down the street at work. So that way I can come anytime I want. I can just ride with him. So, honey's not too far away. And it's just me and the beautiful, beautiful beach, as you can see, both sides. There's not many people out and it's great. So let's get into it. All right, you guys. So here is the photo album. It says ocean, as you can see going down. So on the first page here, as you can see, we have a beautiful octopus with some little stud um, for eyes. We've got an anchor, some beautiful seashells. So it has some really beautiful seashells. Now, as I've stated previously, I'm gonna make sure I link the paper pad I used to make this photo book all in the description box. So along the back here, you see we have some beautiful seahorses. And I'm trying to pick it up, you guys. I was doing this with one hand because <laughs> my tripod again wasn't acting right. And we've got a jellyfish and some starfish on the back. Um, this whole scrapbook, not scrapbook, photo book was made from cardboard and paper bags, like lunch paper bags. And so I thought I would just quickly flip through it. It has a lot of flips, you guys. Um, the purpose of this little album is to be able to flip through it and for each flap to be able to hold a picture now as you can see mine doesn't have any pictures on it and that is because after i finished it and did all that work it took me a long time about a couple of weekends so after i finally finished it and learned how to score and learned how to fold the flaps and which flap is to be glued to what and all of that i did not want to put any pictures in it because i thought that the photo paper, um, the cardstock was so pretty, I didn't want to cover it with a picture. And so I just kind of left it and I just kind of call it my puzzle book. I know it's not what it's called, but that's what I call it because that's how I feel when I open it. Like it's like a mystery. And so I've got little slides, little pockets on the ends, as you can see, with the pearls coming down. All of the uh, pages have the little pearl slide out where you could put, you know, a note card in there of how you want it to look. And, all of that jazz and uh, I just went through I have a couple of envelopes on there also a little notepad in the back and I really really enjoyed making it even though it was time consuming um, the letters I did with um, Tim Holtz inks and then I put a high uh, shine on top of it and I just really like it the jewelry I got from Hobby Lobby the shells I got from the Dollar Store and then I also colored those with some Tim Holtz alcohol ink I had a really nice pendant hanging on the back but that was destroyed by children so this is what's left and I really loved it it was my first one like I said I did make a really beautiful one for my mother so later on I will be showing you guys that in a future video Now, so that's the whole book. I did a quick flip through as you guys can see. If you want a more in-depth look of me going slow and taking a 45 minute video to do so, just let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and do that. But I didn't think you guys wanted to see every little itty bitty thing of it. But if you do, just let me know. So here it is again, there's the site. It has a very wide bind and I did that purposely because I wanted to be able to fit a lot of folds and things like that into it. It's very wide. It's a very wide scrapbook, um, photo book. So that's that, you guys. Decided to come and bring myself some snacks. Some things that are healthy that I can eat. I picked up some little fake ruffles and a salad and some boiled eggs and 
some antioxidant, antioxidant, ex, you know, trail mix, got some trail mix. I've got my Gatorade, of course, I've got my, my stuff in my bag here, a computer. So I'm sitting here right now, I'm gonna have my, my little breakfast, and then I'm gonna move closer in and sit down on the sand because I just love the beach that much. So I'm gonna sit down there um, and just enjoy, just enjoy the serenity, the quietness, no kids hollering and screaming at me, demanding stuff. No husbands demanding stuff. Just me, just me and Jesus in the beach. And I love it. So, here we are. We are on the beach. Del Mar and it's just been one of those days where I've done absolutely nothing. Do you see it? Do you see the wonderfulness of it? Yep. We got some a long time. Yes we did. So this is gonna be a video about self-care. This is a self-care video because that is what I'm doing right now you guys. I am doing self-care. Now anyone who knows me, who personally knows me, know that I'm a beach bum, okay? I grew up two blocks from the beach, love the beach, used to surf, swim, jump off diving boards, all that jazz, body surfing. I spent many, many years sitting at the beach, enjoying my life. So for me, the beach is a necessity. I've wanted to move out of this state because they charge too much for living here in California. But I can't seem to pull myself away from the beach and my family, of course. If I could pack them both up, take them with me, I'd be out of here. But anyhow, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you're enjoying your day in whatever way you do that. Find something small, something little, you know, um, if you can't find something big, just find something that helps you better enjoy your day and um, do that. Oh, anyhow. So I was going to do a craft day on the beach, but I don't think that would work out too well. Because <laughs> I don't have any power unless I do a craft that has no like power. But it, again, it goes with, I've got my mask on right here. In this case, y'all wondering, people get too close, it's going on. I am not against the mask. Wear your mask, okay? Wearing your mask is like wearing your seatbelt or a helmet if you ride a, a motorcycle or locking your door at night or having a fire extinguisher in your house, okay? Use God's good sense he gave you and put something to cover yourself from this craziness going on in this world. So, self-care. I think it's really important that you invest in time for yourself. I am just now, I'm speaking and preaching self-care, but I'm really, literally, just in the last six months starting to do so for myself. I probably had maybe three days in the last six months where I can say was for me. I don't get many of them because, as you know, I'm a mother of four, but three are still at home. Okay. So... What I am learning about the self-care issue is if I don't carve out self-care for myself, I don't feel like I'm doing my best job. I'll just say that. It's hard to do your best job when you're not feeling your best. I think it's great to get out and allow the nature to revitalize you, you know, rejuvenate you. Um, simple things you wanna do. Like I actually was gonna sit on the beach this morning and do some, um, waist beads for myself but then I forgot the waist beads at home I did bring my computer because I thought oh maybe I could just sit and edit but then I got too wrapped up in just looking at the waves so I forgot to do that so you know to each his own just do whatever makes you happy whatever makes you feel good for me just being here and looking at God's creation and how well he made it and just still in awe and amazement of how the water just stops right here and just the simple things, you know? 
doesn't have to be anything huge. Just the little things that really make you happy. And for me, the beach makes me happy. Now for some people, it's not the beach at all. They don't they can't stand the beach. My husband's one of those people. He he really don't like the beach at all. Now he didn't say that when we were dating. He never said it. He would take me and smile and get all in the sand. But um <clears throat> Yeah. So what is going on in my life right now? Yeah. So I'm trying to get the shop back going. I'm trying to put up more content for you guys. Excuse my crazy hair. Um, what else? I'm trying to figure out what school I want to go to next for my next degree. Um, still working on the weight loss thing. I completely blew it for lunch today, but that's just a one-time thing. We're getting back on track. I just counted this day as a special day that I got to get away in. So I gave myself the leisure to go ahead and eat what I wanted. But that's over now. <laughs> so back to the strict regimen of veggies and stuff like that. But um, like I said, I've been doing pretty good on this little diet. I've lost five pounds on this little diet. So that's nice. I'll take it. But um, so my plan is to lose a certain amount of weight before my birthday. Um, I don't want to see myself going into the next year of life looking like this now i know you guys are gonna say girl you're tripping there's nothing wrong with you you look great you have four children i get all of that guys so i'm looking very oily enjoying my day off yep i had a day off look at my oily skin thank god i didn't put like face makeup on anyhow a beautiful day you know this is the stuff you can take advantage of in california i don't know how hot it is but i feel the heat i might get in that water because i know that water is cold but i feel the heat crazy here i try to do a bun you guys you see it didn't come out too well so make sure you're doing things for self-care, to love on yourself, rather that's being to read a book, rather that is listening to music, listening to an audio book, going to the spa, getting your nails done, um, having a date night, getting your house cleaned by a housekeeper. I consider that self-care because that means you don't have to do it. Someone else is doing it. You can sit down and take a nap. I can't wait to get to that stage in life. I can't wait to hire someone to come clean my house. At least once every two weeks. So, just like a deep clean, you know? I've enjoyed my day. I wish it was a whole day. But, you know, I'll take what I can get at this point in life. Uh, I'm so ready just to enjoy some sun. I didn't put on no sunscreen or nothing. I just want to feel the sun. Okay? So, this is just really nice. So we're going to be making some more stuff when we get home. So you guys, that was my photo album. It's a little bit later in the day now. I've already went to lunch with the honey, came back to the beach. And I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you did. I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed the video. I'm hoping that you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope that you are staying positive, staying creative, staying crafty, stay reusing, recycling, repurposing all things in your life. I hope that you are blessed and feel fulfilled and all that good stuff you know nothing but but love going your way for me um i just wanted to share that with you guys i hope you enjoyed my quick book now let me tell you about this book so i did this book over over two or three years ago and it was my first flip book that i did out of cardboard and um brown paper bags so that is what it's made out of and then of course cardstock and glue and things like that. I have a couple of magnets in there, but um, yeah, I love it. I, and, but it's so it was so time consuming. I'm not gonna lie, it was time consuming. That thing took me like a month to figure out how I was gonna turn and fold the paper and how many flaps I was gonna have and 
how many little pockets I was going to put in there and, you know, things like that. The pockets, the handles, the pullouts, the picture flaps, the note cards, the tags, all that took a lot of work. And so that's, I made two. I made that one and then I made one that I made for my mother too, which I'll probably go ahead and, and, and do that video too and show you guys that one. But I made it for her for Mother's Day. Um, it's been years now. But I'll leave a link to that one as well. I'll try to post that one too. And um, just fun project. Fun project. Very, um, I learned a lot. <laughs> and I encourage you to do so. Like if you're learning how to craft and you want to, there's plenty of YouTubers that have so many different videos on those. So just, you know, type in um, DIY, uh, DIY photo book and see what comes up. There's a lot of people on Etsy that sells different layouts to make it a lot easier for people who don't normally craft or people who just would like a nice layout and don't feel like going through the, the fiddling of trying to figure out how they want their pages to fold or cross or pull or whatever. So check that out too. And I'll see if I can't leave some links. And that's it, you guys. That's it. We're at the beach. That's it. I'm gonna go put my feet in the water, maybe. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay wrapped in scraps. Remember to stay loving you. Stay loving God. Stay loving life because you are here. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.